on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Finally back from CES, ready to help you find the PC of your dreams. We're gonna look at some of the classic system integrators, see what they have to offer right now, and take a look at a new one. Plus some talk about AMD's 3D VCast chips, all that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello everyone, I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome back to System Integrators Weekly. And uh, it's been a minute. It has been a minute since we've uh, had these episodes coming up regularly, but there was a lot of stuff to post, there was a lot of stuff to do, and I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to go to Vegas and go to CES. Actually, it was a really, really good time, and I hope you've enjoyed the couple of videos that have come out for that. The rest are taking time, I know, but they'll come out. And uh, some really cool interviews in there, plus big news from iBuyPower that's uh, pretty close to my heart, actually. Uh, we even got a follow-up interview with Rob Teller, and it may just be even better than the first one. There's another thing that we're gonna be doing that's new, okay? At the end of the video, we're gonna have something called the Giveaway Roundup. I'm gonna look around for giveaways, for PC giveaways that you can try to win, because, hey, you know what? One door closes, another one opens. Uh, there's a lot of giveaways out there, and we'll see what we can find. We'll do all of that stuff after this brief message from our sponsor, VIP CDK Deals. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that offers game keys for several different platforms and genuine software licenses at drastically reduced prices. You can even use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. Here's how it works. Here we have an OEM license for Windows 10 Pro. Of course, all Windows 10 Home and Pro keys can be later upgraded to Windows 11 at no charge. Keep in mind that you'll need a new key if you build a new system or make major hardware changes. OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Pro. So make sure you know which version you have installed. Here in the cart, you can use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. So an OEM copy of Windows 10 Pro will drop from $22.72 to just $15.90. After your purchase is complete, click view keys slash codes. Click get the key and copy it. Then go to your Windows search bar, type out activate, and click activation settings. My Windows install is already activated, so I'll be replacing it, but yours should just say activate Windows. Paste in the key, click activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. I know that some of you guys want these videos to be shorter. Trust me, actually, I do too. That's one of the goals for 2023. So uh, just make sure you look down in the video description. That's where the time, uh, where the time stamps are, plus you'll see them in the bar right here on the bottom. But before we get into pre-builds, I wanna talk about um, the the big things coming out of AMD uh, in the very near future. And it feels like it's been one thing after another when it comes to new hardware launches, and it's absolutely driven me crazy telling people, you should wait, okay, you should wait. Okay, this, got, this was released, but the next thing's coming out. You should wait, but this one could be big. The 7800X 3D, and the 7900X3D and the 7950X3D are the ones that are gonna be coming out with eight cores, 16 threads, uh, 12 cores, 24 threads, and 16 cores, 32 threads, respectively. Now, it will be good if they release all of them because the 5800X3D was amazing as a gaming processor, but it fell behind when it came to multitasking, productivity, content creation, things like that. With the two Ryzen 9 chips, the 7900X3D and 7950X3D, they keep their boost clocks as they were. Uh, their clocks stay the same. It's actually kind of crazy, but we may see this, a similar sort of limitation as to whether they can be overclocked or not because um, 3D vCache is thermally sensitive. That's 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 the whole story. But the main thing about 3D vCache chips is the cache itself, obviously. And games really like lots of cache. Now, for those of you who don't know what cache is really for, basically any data that the uh, data or data sets that the CPU needs to access frequently can sit in the cache. And the more megabytes of cache you have, the more data that can be stored there and say like, well, optimized games will use cache effectively and get a lot more performance out of it, and it can really be a good thing. I think, honestly, the 7900X3D, if everything pans out properly, if uh, the 3D vCache is utilized properly, and you know the smaller process node at five nanometers, uh, you get the gains in efficiency and the higher uh, IPC and everything, all comes together in the perfect storm to make 
really fast chips. The 7900X3D, if it's a couple hundred dollars cheaper, might be the way to go for most people who want to not just game, but also want to do getting into video editing, doing streaming with a lot of stuff going on and gameplay and all kinds of stuff. Now, it's weird when it comes to the 7800X3D. So basically with the chiplet design, you're gonna have two chiplets on there. Each one has eight cores. So for the 7600X3D, all eight cores on both chiplets are active. On the 7900X3D, four of them are deactivated on one of those and then 7800X3D is just one active one. That may be why there's such a big drop in cash from 144 for the 7950X3D and 140 for the 7900X3D down to 104. A pretty substantial drop in boost clock down to five gigahertz instead of 5.7 for the first chip and 5.6 for the 7900X3D down to five gigahertz. And that is 0.4 gigahertz lower than the 7700X. We don't know exactly when they're coming out and we still don't have pricing. Uh, AMD is being kind of coy about that, which sure, okay, that's fine. So that's kind of the rundown there. Now, why would I say that that's a reason that you should wait? Why would I say that that's gonna potentially change things? Well, I, as I said before, try to get you guys the best thing that's out there right now. And right now, that's 13th gen Intel. 13th gen Intel uses more power. It's not nearly as efficient. Uh, but you can get it cheaper because it uses uh, DDR4 or DDR5. And the, something like the 13600K is an amazing CPU that can kind of do it all. Uh, jack of all trades, master of none, but amazing at gaming, quite competent at video editing, photo editing, all those kinds of things, and just really a lot of potential. And then you have the non-K like, I, okay, so you have like the 13400 and 13500 that just came out that are pretty impressive. But we're talking about the 13400 having six performance cores and four efficiency cores for about $220. And that price can drop too. Intel's top in the charts for gaming right now that could and probably will change when the 3D Vcash chips come out. Okay, so at competing price points, Intel will no longer be winning basically. So if you're at a certain price point where you can afford the 7800X3D, you'll probably want to do that. But there's another looming truth behind all of this, and that is Intel's insistence on the archaic practice of only using only using a socket that they that they launch for two generations of CPUs. If you are the type that wants to just buy a PC, never open it up, never, you just wanna get the best thing you can right now. Right now I can say you can go Intel 13th gen. However, 3D Vcash will probably change that statement. Now, um, the next step of course in System Integrators Weekly is to get off of that other stuff and talk about, you got it, System Integrators. So uh, let's get into that. And uh, we're gonna start by talking about Good old iBuyPower, who have been making some moves. You will see right here, we have the Height Y40 in a system that's, it's a custom system, but we're gonna see if they have anything like that in their ready systems, if they've implemented any of those. See this case right here. This is the iBuyPower Trace 5 MR, and that is glass. And we all know that um, if it's glass, air cannot pass. If there's mesh, the air is fresh. Like that's kind of a general rule. Um, I've shown it in my own review with a similar front panel, but what they did was they took this, they took off the glass and they put mesh there because I, because well, first off, they, they just wanted, they've been planning on doing that. But secondly, the most important thing, and you're gonna see this in a video coming up uh, where I talked to Brad over there at CES about it. People who bought this case and any other, I think gen five case, like this is a trace five, right? Will be able to just buy the front panel, just pop it right onto their system. You see guys, back when I met, really met them in person for the first time back at uh, PAX East in Boston last year, this was my main push. This is what I was pushing. I was like, guys, if you guys just make, these are all, this, a lot of these are the same enclosure, same tooling, same everything. If you just make a front mesh front panel, people could just buy that and swap it out. And when I showed up at the booth, they were like, yeah, 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 Y40, whatever, come here and look at this dude. There you go. I, I got emotional. I did. It just shows you guys that if you make your voice heard to a company where you feel like something needs to change or would benefit 
consumers and all that, if it's the right people listening, if it's the right company, uh, and it's important to them, then they'll make the change. And that's what happened here. Let's say this case right here, this case right here could accept that front panel once that goes for sale. It's gonna be a few months till it comes out, but there you go. You could pop a mesh front panel on, on the front of this thing. There you have it, there you go. And this system right here, 999, 12100F, 3050, and then, bam, mesh front panel. Don't know the price yet, but that's gonna be awesome. Of course, this isn't a, this, this system doesn't really put out a whole bunch of heat and it might not even need it, but um, this one here, 12400F, 3050, and there you go. That's a little bit more heat. This one here, 5600X, 6600 XT. Yeah, we're starting to get to some hotter components here. 3060 and a 12400F. Then there is a gap here, 1250 to 1750. There's no $1,500 systems here right now. Uh, of course, this one here, that is a Slate 5 MR right there. So that, that can accept that front panel. So when you're trying to run that 7600X and the 3070, you're gonna need something that can be, keep it pretty cool because you know those 7000 series Ryzen chips like to hang out at around 90 to 95 degrees Celsius and then they boost opportunistically depending on your cooling. Uh, depending on your cooling. Um, and then of course we have our Y60 system here, Y60, Y60 systems. And then that's uh, 12700 KF, 3070 Ti for 1800, pretty good. Uh, this is one that has a 5000 series Ryzen. And that still is, is 5900X is still a good CPU, but it is end of life for that platform. Um, that doesn't mean that these need to go to a landfill and be e-waste. Um, it's just, you know, you might get, uh, I would compare the 7600X versus the 5900X first, although you're getting a 3080 with this for just a little bit more. Um, yeah, 13700 KF and 3070 Ti. This is one of the, this is, this is a really powerful CPU, one of the best you can get right now. And then there is the 13900 KF and the 3080 for 2099. Remember guys, it wasn't ridiculously long. It was less than a year ago. You would pay this price for just this GPU. Now, I'm not sure what is going on with this because they went with the H710. Now, the H710 isn't the worst airflow for NZXT cases. We're gonna talk about that in a second because I got NZXT pulled up right here. And you can actually swap out the front panel for one like off of Etsy or something that has perforations in it. But man, a 13900KF and a 4080. That's gonna need a lot of ventilation. Another thing that you'll see on some of these, the graphics card will be shipped uninstalled. And then click here to view PDF instructions on how to install it yourself. That's that when I talk about it's a different experience buying directly from iBuyPower, that is a measure that they take, including more packaging in there, in order to make sure that your stuff is safe in shipping. But I would say that it is just about time to move on here. And we're gonna move on to um, NZXT. Man, with them, it's just, it's an emotional roller coaster, let me tell you. It's really nice of NZXT to put a clear warning on their products when it's going to affect the airflow negatively. By putting the word elite on there, they're giving you a warning. Hey, we sacrifice airflow for looks. So thanks, NZXT, that's cool. I love the direction y'all are going in. Y'all have made some moves. I appreciate you for doing that. I don't appreciate this. This is not elite to me. This is, what is this? In the H9 series, you have two. You have the H9 flow, meaning that NZXT acknowledges airflow is not a meme now. And they're like, oh wait, maybe it is a meme. Ha ha ha, here's the H9 elite where they cover the top exhaust with glass. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? This is it for your exhaust. That's it. Now there, there also is the H5 flow, H5 elite. H7 Flow, H7 Elite, and H7. Guess what, only one of those three has airflow. It's the one with flow in the name. Stick to those guys. But let's take a look at their custom PC builder and see if they have all these new fancy cases in their uh, PC builder. So as of right now, we would say Intel, right? Give it a few weeks, guys, we'll see. All right, and let's just go to continue to build. One cool thing about NZXT's build is that they have what the model of GPU is right there in the listing. Um, now, right here, it's a $50 difference, it seems, between the 3080 Ventus 3X and the 4070 Ti. Uh, if you're gaming in 1080p or 1440p, I'd say go for the 4070 Ti. If you're gonna go with 4K, you might actually get a little bit better performance out of a 
well, it's hard to say. 3080s, it's just, they choked off the memory buds width on the 4070 Ti. Check out the reviews, you'll see what I'm talking about. But other than that, it's it's it should outperform the 3080. God, the price difference between the, the 4070 Ti and the 4080, good lord. Anyway, and then we got to look at what CPUs they've got. We'll ignore that other stuff for now. And they go up to 13th gen with only the 13700 KF right now that is sold out. Thank you for listing something that's sold out. Appreciate that. I really, really, really want to like NZXT. I do. I see them making an effort to sort of join the rest of the modern era with Airflow but they're really stuck in their ways on certain things. We gotta take a look at the MG1 from Main Gear. Now, Main Gear is a well-established brand and they've worked really hard to establish themselves as a premium brand. Um, there's a lot of, it's much like NZXT, there's a lot of stuff that Main Gear does that I like. I do have respect for, what, for, for, for some of the things they do. However, um, with being established, and being into it for a while and all that sometimes can come a bit of hubris. Say, feeling like you know more than the component manufacturers who provide you with the parts you use to build your systems, to integrate your systems and be a system integrator. In a video titled, like, do not buy these pre-built, like, I don't think anyone expected to see main gear in there. However, they insisted on taking GPUs that NVIDIA said, hey, we recommend this power supply for this one. And we recommend this power supply for this one. And we, you know, and they basically were like, <laughs> that's cool. Hey, we're gonna put uh, about 150 watts less than that. Cool, cool, all right, cool. Hey guys, we're a premium brand, buy our stuff. So there is pre-configured ones for 1449, or you can customize it for 1399. Let's go ahead and open both. Hey, 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 the 3060 Ti has got a 600 watt power supply. That's it, that's, that's the minimum. That's the minimum for a 3060 Ti. That's awesome. Let's see, 3070 Ti and that's, what? Guys, that's 150 watts under the minimum. And it's a 13600K, that's a super, like, okay, 13600K, not as bad as like the i7 and i9 when it comes to power draw, but like, and thank you for not using an FSKU. Like, that's cool. That's good and cool. Like, I would have been like, man, are you sure you guys want to use it? Just a 750 watt, maybe give it a little bit of headroom. You're, like, you're still doing it. And see here, 4070 Ti, 13700K, and an 850 watt power supply. Cool. Now, once you start getting up to this price point, $2,500, I would probably say 16 gigs of RAM, you're cheaping out on the customer there. That's not great. Uh, but at least if you go $1,000 more, you get that extra 16 gigs of RAM, plus a 13900K and the 4080. 13900K is a power hungry monster. And the 4080 is not as bad as, 40 series cards don't don't have as much uh, of the uh, spiking behavior as we as was exhibited by like a 3090, 3090 Ti, but still, um, I would probably have gone 1,000 watts on this. Great power supplies, and I'm gonna give you all a pass on this because EVGA hasn't come out with their 12VH PWR uh, power supplies yet. That was supposed to be, I think, in Q1 of this year, so we should be seeing those soon. So you guys can go ahead and just switch over to those when they're released. Cool. So what does the MG1 Shroud Edition do? Well, <laughs> doesn't get you a good power supply, that's for sure. Oh, really? Shroud, my friend, they did you dirty. No, you're part of the leadership. You're doing yourself dirty. You need to have a meeting with them real soon. I'll sit in on it if you want. 3070 Ti, minimum recommenda recommendation for power supply is 750 watts. At least all of these. At least, well, okay, I guess this is where Shroud was concerned. Is like, hey, hey, put a whole terabyte in there. You knuckleheads, and then they did. And then look up here. You get up to here and then you have a two terabyte. You guys do know they exist. What the hell is going on over here? What is this? Why this? Why this? This is, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. This is, uh, basically what I wanna say is, I know you guys have amazing build quality. You have a good history, great support for the customers, okay? That's why I want to see better is because I actually give a damn about that. Like, because I actually have respect for you guys. If I expected stuff like this, I wouldn't be all, I don't know, snide about it. I would just be like, well, that sucks. 
No, it's genuinely, genuinely disappointing. Like, he, see here we have a thousand watt power supply. You better with a 4090 and a 3900K, let me tell you. This wasn't really, I mean, this return, I wanted this to be like, hey guys, you should buy this. With me saying that you guys should probably wait to see how 3D Vcash chips do, it's only a couple of weeks, guys, that's it. It's a couple of weeks for a system, if you're looking to buy right now, it's a system you're gonna be using for years to come. In the grand scheme of things, a few weeks, no big deal. All right, let me just, let me clear the air right now. Main gear. Um, don't know if you know who I am. I'm Breathorn. hi, probably should have put this at the beginning. But uh, I am a, a, a tech YouTuber who focuses on system integrators. Yes, we do exist. And I generally have a positive approach uh, unless I see something that's not good for consumers. Then I get a little up in arms about it. Sorry. But um, yeah, I review systems and I review uh, the whole experience. System integrators, what the uh, buying experience is like, what the configurators are like, and uh, we even have a whole community of people who will tell us their experiences as uh, testimonials in our Discord. By the way, for those of you who want to join the Discord, it's in the description below. And check out SI Testimonials to see a huge list of system integrators and people responding with photos and the experiences that they have when purchasing and uh, customer service experiences if there are any problems. You should definitely check that out. If you want to prove me wrong, I will eat my words. I will write them on a piece of paper and do the full nerd thing, right? If you guys don't watch the full nerd, you should. And I will literally eat my words if you can prove to me that, well, either that this chassis can handle really high-end parts or that underpowering your systems, that you're, I'm sure you're really proud of these systems, but underpowering them is the way to go. If you wanna prove that to me, please do. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys a fair and honest review. Um, that's pretty cool, and I, I guess you could actually see it. Oh, this is sick, okay. All right, you guys get points for that. I don't know about the accuracy of this GPU. What the hell is this? It's a 3050. What if we put in 4090? See, that looks accurate. Okay, cool. Anyway, main gear, reach out to me, talk to me. I, 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 you know, I'm, I like to have fun when I'm talking about this stuff. And uh, you, got, you seem like you have a thick skin, I imagine. You've been doing this a long time. You've gotten, you've gotten praise and probably criticism and all kinds of stuff. It's nothing new to you. So uh, let's talk about it. I'd like to hear your perspective. Okay. Now we're gonna visit some old friends here and take a look at Alexander PCs, see what they've got. And we've been covering Alexander PCs for a while and uh, I've done a, uh, two reviews of their systems before and they're a boutique system integrator. They're a boutique builder. They um, basically, it's enthusiasts building for enthusiasts. Now, what that means is it's a smaller company, higher overhead, it costs them more to do business because they're putting out less volume, okay? Uh, also, there's more attention to detail in their builds plus a lifetime warranty. Like that costs money over time. They have to know that as they sell a system that could represent a lot of cost over the years. So is it a little bit more expensive than just getting something from, you know, a ready to ship system from iBuyPower? Yeah, is it gonna be a different ownership experience? Hell yeah, it is. Not that you get a bad ownership experience with iBuyPower if you buy directly from the system integrator, okay? You don't wanna have to worry about talking to Geek Squad if you have a problem. You wanna talk to the people that built the system for you. But you will find some systems here that have, you know, say like a 4070 Ti and, and a 13700K. Actually, there's one right there, 3588. There you have it. And it's an all white system with a white AIO, uh, the prime motherboards so that all matches nicely. And the Zotac, I like the look of the Zotac cards. They look really cool. And this one's ready to ship, there you go. And they'll actually tell you all the parts that are in there and uh, even give you the core parts list there saying that extras are not included, including like the free shipping, including the lifetime warranty, and the uh, the actual uh, braided sleeve cable extensions you get, you get to choose the color. That's not included in there, but you actually, you actually copy this and go look at the PC part picker list for this and see what it would cost if you built it yourself. They make sure everything's updated, memory is overclocked, everything's optimized, and then all you gotta do is plug it in install your games and you're off to the races. But this this is sold, by the way, the system here. I just wanna show you some of the like custom artwork that they can do. It's insane. And you can straight up request this. Like say, hey, um, you know, I really liked Voltron. Can you get me a Voltron themed PC? And then be like, hell yeah. We should probably use the RFG Strix card in there because it has red and blue already. Bam, like that's two of the colors. Anyway, whatever. 
uh, yeah, they can do insane builds, including all the way up to custom liquid cooled, open loop liquid cooled systems as well. These guys can do it all, but they also go down to doing things like uh, in price, they go down in price all the way down to doing things like the infamous Centurion, which I have actually uh, reviewed. You can see that review right here. Um, it was a great system and you have some customization you can do here. And they actually explain every step, every bit of uh, logic that they put into the parts that they chose. Now, one thing that Alexander PCs did with us that they hadn't ever done before when I first started talking with them was they gave our community a discount code. So all you gotta do, and it changes though, the code changes. You can see it in the Discord, in the coupon codes channel. It's cur this, is, this can change. So if you use the code, if you see this video a couple months from now and we had to change the code, it won't be this, you have to check the Discord, but it's LGN. Gets you 50 bucks off any system on the site. Bam, there you go. Um, but yeah, the new Stratagos right here is awesome. 13th gen Intel, awesome system in the Landcool 3. There's just some really good options here. But if you're not sure, well, for one thing, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday on twitch.tv slash Breathorn, where I help people one-on-one -on -one through the queue and help them find the system that's right for them based on your budget, based on what you're gonna use it for, based on important questions like that that I think a lot of people don't really ask themselves before they buy something, and you need to be asking yourself these questions. However, if you can't make it to a stream or I don't get to you in the queue or something like that, and you wanna talk to someone at Alexander PCs, you just go to contact and you email admin at alexanderpcs.com and they will email you back. Now we're gonna look at another sort of high-end uh, smaller system integrator and this will be the first time that we're covering them. And this is Top Flight Computers. Top Flight Computers, they do bespoke computers in that there's not a preset thing. And you can get that from a lot of boutique system integrators where you can just tell them, hey, I want this, 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 and that. And then they'll just do it for you. But that's the whole point here. They do some really ridiculous systems. If you need a workstation for a specific use case, they will build it to that specification. You're using SolidWorks, cool. They'll build you a SolidWorks machine, okay? Are you, do you need a DAW, a music workstation? Talk to them. They'll figure out what you need and build you that. You want gaming computers, they'll build you a gaming computer. Custom liquid cooling, they do that too. These guys do everything, and they do it through a very specific process called the Johnson process. Named after our uh, late first tech consultant, Chris Johnson, this is a comprehensive, comprehensive consultative process hyper-focused on the user. And basically, you're going to fill out a form that will give them every bit of info they need, or at least most of, almost all the info they need to get you a bespoke computer that is suited to exactly you. Now that doesn't sound cheap, does it? But that's the thing, is that it is the PC for you. And they actually like name every one of these. It's really cool. Like look at that, every one of the systems that they build, they will give it a name or the customer will give it a name. And it's really, really cool. So there you go. There's a whole thing here that you do, and there's a process that this is a, just the start of the process, okay? If that's the experience you've been looking for, if you're like, man, I just want something that's just right for me, I don't want no cookie cutter thing, well, you can get that again at some other places. However, if you look at like, the, it's not quite what you're looking, what you're getting from Alexander PCs because then you just send them an email and then there's a conversation that happens, which is also cool. So if that's exactly what you've been looking for, check the link in the description. It's not an affiliated link or anything. It's just, I want you to be able to find the right thing for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's that for System Integrators Weekly for now, but there's one last thing. I mentioned a giveaway roundup, didn't I? My buddy Brett over at UFD Tech uh, posted a video thanking everyone for 500K. They're, they're past it now. I mean, they're at fi 528,000 subscribers. But in order to, to thank everyone for that, NZXT actually sponsored a giveaway PC. Now I feel bad for giving so much sass to NZXT. I'm sorry, guys. They're sponsoring a whole giveaway PC and you can go to this video here, which I will link in the description below. Actually here, I'll just put it right there. And uh, you should be able to find, join the giveaway stream on Twitch. That's how you do it. All you gotta do is just watch the stream. Go do that. 
Um, but that is the start of the giveaway roundup. This is just the first one, and I want to focus on this one because I want the, it to get all the attention because, like, seriously, Brett is and the team and everyone there, they're just awesome, okay? So that's the start of the System Integrators Weekly Giveaway Roundup. That is just one system I know. Here's the deal. System Integrators out there or any uh, outlets who are giving away PCs, shoot me an email. It's in my About tab and let me know what giveaways are running so I can start rounding these things up, okay? And getting them all together. And there will be a segment at the end of every System Integrators Weekly where people can go to to find your giveaway. Sound good? Sounds good. We'll do that. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I do want to shout out another creator because he made basically the coolest merch shirt ever. Nerd on a budget, dude. Love this thing. It's basically NVIDIA and AMD GPUs as giant robots battling each other. And he has a choice for purple on the color. Like. How am I not going to love that? Go follow Nerd on a Budget. Go subscribe to Nerd on a Budget. It's a great channel. Does a lot of DIY stuff. Does it in a way that's very easy to understand. And also has covered some system integrator things too. And that's going to be me checking out of this episode. Uh, until next time, more content coming out before the end of the month from uh, CES. Guys, it's, it's, I promise it's super interesting. You should watch it um, because it's just, it's a, it's a thing that, Consumers can't get into, you have to be in the industry. So you're getting a peek behind the curtain there. So you should check it out. Anyway, that's it for this time. Until next time. Take care.